In the previous lesson, we discussed the universal analytics hierarchy. Next, it is important to understand how Google Analytics works before we set it up on our website. You will need to set up a Google Analytics account. Once you have set up an account and have your property set up, you will have a unique tracking ID. You will need to correctly add this global site tag tracking code into the head section of every page of your website's HTML. Now, every time a new visitor arrives on your website, this code will package the tracking data and send it to the Google Analytics platform. The platform will then process the data and store it in your account database, where it can no longer be changed. As an account user, you can then have view of the processed data as reports on the platform. Installing the Google Analytics tracking code requires a basic understanding of how HTML works. Before we go deeper into how this works, let's talk about HTML. While you won't need to know how to write HTML in order to do this setup, it is important to understand what HTML is. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language, a standardized system for describing the structure of a web page by using tags that tell the browser how to display the content on the page. Every HTML page on the World Wide Web begins with an open HTML tag and ends with a closed HTML tag. A closed tag has an extra forward slash compared to an open tag. Within the HTML tags, there is an open and a closed head tag, and an open and a closed body tag. What you see when you visit a web page is found within the body tags, while the head section contains metadata that is not displayed to your visitors. The analogy is like a human being. You can see the body, but you cannot see the brain beneath, which is what the data within the head tags represents on a web page. This is what the tracking code JavaScript snippet looks like in Google Analytics. If you are manually setting up Google Analytics on your website, you need to copy this snippet and add it into the head section of your website on every single page. This will then start sending back data from every page of your website to your analytics platform. Now that we have covered our bases, let's set up a Google Analytics account step by step. 